excited to be back. We've been talking about being back for a while. I feel like we're like, we're back. No, we're not. We're, we're back. back. No, we're not. <laughs> we just had a crazy year. I think year. that we're back, right? New year. We are back. Okay, for we're sure, back. we're, we're making back. this happen. We should be posting like one to two days a week as like our goal. Goal. So we're going to reach our goal. Yeah. New Year's, New Year, New Year goal. New Year, New Us or <laughs> new whatever. Us. Yes. <laughs> okay. Like so we thought we would start out by kind of talking about what you've missed or maybe some of the tea that some we have that we cannot talk about on our own channels, but we're willing to talk about it here. Yeah. So, okay. Not that we can't talk about it on our own channels. It's just. Sometimes I feel like I, I'm like. Eh. Oh yeah. She has something that's like. Eh. I have it's something just... that I'm going to share today that I would not share on. Yeah, that's so On crazy middles. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. I don't even know if I want to share it now because it just happened. But should we start with that? No. I feel like no, because we actually we, made a list. Okay, so we made this list and Crystal and I you know we're talking about like tea or different things that we have. And Crystal had like so much and I have one thing. But yours is a really big thing. <laughs> so I feel like it adds up to like 10 things. <laughs> I'm trying to live a drama-free life, guys. <laughs> okay. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay. This Real quick. Oh. Were we fighting? A lot of people like started this oh, rumor okay. and these crazy things like, were you, are you guys fighting? You're not together as much? What's going on? And the answer is... Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was like, are you going to say it or not? <laughs> <laughs> this is the truth. This is all the truth. I was like, are we being honest here? What are we doing? Because <laughs> that was not on my paper, guys. Okay. Going off book here. Yikes. Okay. Here's the thing. Okay. Yes and no say. at the same time. I feel like since we, when we lived in St. John's, we only had each other. Yeah. And yeah. it was just us. Every day, just you and it me, was just, every guest. Yes, and we were constantly together. And then when we moved here, we had our own separate things and we kind of live not that far apart, but a little bit apart. And we just have so much going on. We, our relationship drifted apart. Sure. And it was so heartbreaking on both sides. And we were both like, what's going on? Normally we're so close and we were just like, and I was blaming her for not spending enough time with me. She was blaming me, me for not spending enough time with her. And really we were just fighting because we thought that each other should put in more effort. Yes. Yes. So we got together. We both put in effort. We talked it all out and we are good. Yes. So. Yes. We are doing <laughs> so much better. I feel like we're back to where we were. Yeah, I agree. For I sure. Agree. For sure. So yeah. yeah, I'm very happy about that. And I love I just love my sister. I love so you much. so much. So yeah. and I don't ever want to drift apart again. No. Yeah. So it's a lesson learned though. If you have any relationships in your life that you're just feeling kind of like ah about, like communicate and figure it out because the relationships are so important. It's so for sure. yes. So. Okay, let's get on to the TV okay. rundown. Yeah, I was like, that wasn't on here. Okay. <gasps> so she has a few different things and do you know what you want to talk about? Like I don't know if I want to talk about let's this. Let's make sure one. you can see through it. <laughs> no. What do you want to talk about? No, it's fine. Um, I think talk about that. Okay, let's first start with Jamie moving in with Ariana. On our channel, I didn't really, I guess, uh, sometimes I forget that you guys aren't with me 24-7 and you don't see all the conversations and all the things that are going on, I, I mean, all the time. And then in videos, I'm like, yay, Jamie's moving in with Ariana. And, and then, you just breeze right through it. like Yeah. And then when I watched it back, I was like, you know, I didn't explain that very well. And I've noticed when I don't explain things, people make up crazy assumptions and start just, yeah. All Assuming, yeah. So real quick, going back to the Jamie thing. So I know a few people were like, she moves around so much and what she needs permanency and all of that kind of thing. I do agree that she needs a permanent place to live, which is why we've been for months um, planning out building basically a garage with an apartment above it, that kind of thing. But even doing that, Jamie may choose not to live there. Cause here's the thing is she is her own guardian. And she has opinions on everything. Just well, you shouldn't all be of us forcing do. her either. No, to do and no. I would never. And so Jamie was choosing to live with Ariana. Like she's like, that's where I want to live. Cause I was like, let's move the podcast room to Ariana's extra room, and then have you'll have a little apartment area up there. And she was like, I want to live with Ariana, and and I'm not gonna force her. And I'm like, just because she has a disability doesn't mean that her opinion doesn't matter. And wherever she is happy and thriving and I feel so incredibly blessed that she we have such a large family and she feels so comfortable like hey I want 
to live with Hallie and then they decided not to renew their lease and she's like now I want to live with Ariana and I don't know wherever wherever she, she wants to live if she said she wanted to move in with me guess what we would make a spot for her yeah she like, is so important such an important part of our family that we love her and we'll do anything we need and all her. of us are like whatever you want to do Jamie we'll, we'll make work and wherever you're happy that's where you're going to be so, so she may decide I don't know be with Ariana for a little bit and she may say hey I'm ready to move in with you guys or I want to move back and cool let's go ahead and do that all over again and so it's really up to her on what she wants to do and where she wants to be yeah I love that so so okay so there's Jamie hopefully that cleared up everything so. yeah I know there was a lot of questions about that one um there was also a lot of questions about this one okay homeschooling Jake and Lucas and we I mean we're homeschooling Hannah and Max also I feel like that one we kind of just breezed past too like where they're being homeschooled but there's so much that goes in on the back end when decisions like that get made and i know the assumption that everyone makes is you don't care about education we what? very much we care very much about care about education education is so important and it's something that's really big in our households like yeah. you know and talked about a lot yeah all the time so uh, here's the thing and it actually leads me to another one on there so i'm going to say that and then i'll come back to the homeschool really quick we're thinking about moving guys it not like right now, not like right this second, but in the next probably couple years, maybe. You're gonna move. Um, here's the thing. I love the elementary school that the kids are in. Love it. Great teachers, amazing staff. Like amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Love it. I do not like the high school that they're in. And I know that's kind of and that's why I don't know how to talk about be a lot like, of people are like our hey. channel, because yeah. it's like you know, yeah. and we have six in high school this year, and we're choosing to homeschool four out of the six. And yeah. we did leave it up to them. They get to decide whether they want to do homeschool or in person or that kind of thing. But real quick, there's a lot of drugs in high school. And it's really scary. And um, we talk about triggers when it comes to foster kids and adopted kids and kids or that even have a past. And with some of the trauma that some of my kids have gone through, um, drugs are a really big trigger for them. And to the fact where some of my kids or kids that we've had, I'm not obviously going to name names, um, but they saw, you know, their mom do a drug deal and then pass out the rest of the day and they didn't get to eat that day. And in the school, there are some bathrooms that the kids can't even go to the bathroom without opening the door and being surrounded by smoke when they walk in and they're seeing drug deals happen in the locker rooms and there's just so much and it's like we're having these conversations at home and then we're sending them to an environment that I feel like the education isn't the focus and so I feel like when they're homeschooled we can really focus on that education and the purpose of going to school and all of that and I feel like they're less distracted by all of those things and they don't feel triggered all day and like that kind of stuff so sure. it has nothing to do with not caring about education guys we are choosing or they chose to be homeschooled to better their education. So yeah. And I'm, a, I'm in the same thing. Um, my uh, Jacob actually goes to that high school as well. And that's a concern for us. And when it was reported about the bathrooms, the teacher said we can't be everywhere at once. Yeah. So and when the teacher yeah. saw the drug deal in the locker room, he was like, not in here, boys. Really? Mm hmm. So and no one like anyway, stopped it. Yeah. But, some of my, two of my kids still go to that high school. Um, obviously, Bella loves softball and all of that. And so they're choosing to stay into school um, or stay in, in person. Yeah. And Jacob's in track and loves it. Yeah. And we're going to let, just, we just let our kids choose what they want to do. So yes. if he wants to stay, we're going to let him stay. So yep. anyway, so, okay. Okay. All right. Do you want to talk Let's about this one? Let's go on to yours. <laughs> Mine? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Or we can do one more. This. Okay, one more for her. We'll do one more. <laughs> and then we'll do mine. I think. I'm still thinking. She's still thinking. She's still thinking. Okay, we do have a TV show coming out really really soon called Survivalists. Yeah, Crystal does. I, I do. She wanted me to be part of the show I and invited to me to so do it. Bad. And I was like, no. No, thank you. <laughs> so basically, I'm good at home in my warm bed. Yeah, we had to go in the desert in Mexico and we had to survive like four days and we had to walk. I don't even know how many miles we walked. You'll have to watch it. And so our episode doesn't air until I think mid February, mid to the end of February. Oh, I so think we're one of the last episodes okay. um, of it. 
but it was it was an experience but it makes me a little nervous just because i i don't know like you're there and you know what happens and all of that but i don't know how editing is gonna because i mean it's to our youtube channels that you're gonna like watch through a video before it goes up like i have no idea how they edited, what it looks like. We don't get to see it the episode before it comes out. So it makes me a little like, <sighs> but I'm sure it's fine. they're really incredible. The producers were amazing. And yeah. so I'm sure it's fine, but it was. And it it's was gonna really be good. airing on, is it the BYU? Uh, BYU TV. So, Yay. Yeah. Yay. okay, well, I can't wait to see it, so. <sighs> I don't want to talk. I don't know. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. This, this is something just I normally happened would, yesterday. This happened yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm really sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I have been through a lot of stress. <laughs> after oh after Christmas, I got really, really sick and I was in St. John's. I was supposed to be like vlogging the whole time. I was so excited. I was so sick. Mm -hmm. And so, and it's just taken me a long time. You can still kind of hear it in my voice, but it's taken me a long time um, to get over that. And then we had our dog, Belle, pass away, which was really, really, really hard on our whole family oh, and me. Cause so she was hard. just my, she was my, oh, I just loved her so much. So, <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry. And um, I um, missed my period. And so, I know, TMI guys, if you're a kid, just log off now, guys. Um, and so, and then, and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, you know, I might have been underneath a lot of stress. And then all of a sudden I got sick and it felt like I was car sick during the day. And I was like, am I pregnant? Like what? <laughs> So, okay, so I took a test and it said not pregnant before I went to bed. And I, I told Jared, I was like, no big deal. And then you're supposed to, you're supposed to um, pee on the stick like in, the morning, in the first morning, first thing in the morning. And so I got up, it was like four o'clock in the morning and I was like, oh, I might as well take this other test. So I took it, glanced at it, it said not pregnant and I went back to bed, like no big deal. I woke up the next morning and Jared and I went into the bathroom and I went to just throw it away because it was still it was still out on the counter and when I picked it up, it was very pregnant. It said it was such a pregnant. No, stop. <laughs> stop. No, I'm that's for me. Listen, I would be 46 years old by the time this baby is born. Freaks me out, right? So I call Kylie right away. I'm like, get over here. Poor Mindy. Mindy oh, my heart sister know. Mindy's here. <laughs> Sorry, drag you in here. So Mindy walks in right as I actually looked at it and Jared. And then right. she walked in. I thought she was a kid, so I was like, do you like, you know when you walk in on kids and they're like not supposed to be doing what they're doing? They're like, and I was like, <laughs> do was I me. just leave? That was like, do I? I was like, what is going on? Okay. So then I read online that, <laughs> I read online that um, if you like wait past the period and it was like, if you wait four past, hours later, yeah. then it can show positive. So I'm like, okay, definitely. That's probably what happened. And so I just I I just feel that that's what happened, that I'm not pregnant. Crystal still feels that I, I think am. she's pregnant. She has made I me, do. she has okay. brought a test and made me pee on it. It is sitting she on the counter. She peed on it right before we started doing this. <laughs> it's that. gonna say no. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go get grab it. it. It's gonna say no. It's gonna know. say no. Cause that would be crazy. That would be so crazy. That's stressful. One line or two, bring it in here. Okay, I'm coming. It's I'm okay. coming. Okay, we're coming. I'm not even letting her look at it. <laughs> Come on, this is so ridiculous. Okay, you ready? Hold on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so it says... That it's definitely not pregnant. Says negative. It's negative. But she still hasn't gotten her period. It might just be too no, early to tell. No, it's negative. That's just she crazy. Might be pregnant, guys. No, I'm not. I'm definitely crazy not. Crazy vlog. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I'm not. I think it just sat there too long. It just, we had a freak out moment. Poor Jared, he just like went to the gym. We were just like, we were just like all yesterday morning, like, get in oh. shape to catch up or keep up with the baby. I was like, what do I do? I know. Oh. Anyway, okay, so that was my scare yesterday. I actually just took the day off because that was so stressful in the morning. I needed the rest of the day. Yeah, not pregnant. Um, okay. On a different note, one other thing that I have that I'm really, I'm really excited about is um, a drum roll, drum roll. Please, <laughs> is um, Jared has decided to start his own YouTube channel. Yay! Yay! 
yeah. we're really so excited for, for him. him. It's gonna be, um, I don't I, I don't wanna announce the name yet because I'm not sure if that's 100% what he's gonna choose. Um, but it's basically gonna be about like, like fixing things and like life skills and like that dad channel that, that dad we're all channel in our lives I've the dad time. channel where you can go and learn what you need to know you know from you know Jared he's such a great dad so okay so that's exciting I'm excited so we'll let you know when that's gonna come out I know he's shooting it so different it's not like vlog style or something I don't know this I'm is, excited this is to him see and I'm we're gonna so see excited. what he's doing I'm excited so yes. anyway okay so if you're still here over our long talk <laughs> thank you so so much for still being here yes. um but i think that that's all we have for right now so look forward for more of our videos where we can spill the tea and i know we have some like cooking stuff that we want to do coming up so yes. one to two times a week we're so excited so thank you guys so much for being with us we'll see you next time bye, bye.